explanation motion of an object a body is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to its surrounding and is said to be at rest if it does not change its position with respect to its surrounding displacement and velocity activity mark a position x on the playground from x move towards east direction and mark position y at a distance of 5 meter then from y move a distance of 12 meter towards north and mark z now measure total length from starting point x to end point z according to the path followed measure directly the length of path between x and z which is the shortest path y answer XZ is the shortest path. XZ is equal to 13 meters. XY plus YZ is equal to 5 meters plus 12 meters is equal to 17 meters. Distance. Distance is the actual path followed by a body between the points in which it moves. Displacement. Displacement is the shortest distance between the initial and final points of movement. Speed, the distance covered by a body in unit time is called speed. Speed is equal to total distance traveled by total time taken. SI unit of speed is meter per second. CGS unit is centimeter per second. 1 kilometer per hour is equal to 1000 meters upon 60 seconds into 60 seconds. The distance traveled by a body in a given direction in unit time is called velocity. Velocity is equal to displacement upon time. Units of velocity and speed are the same. Speed is related to distance while velocity is related to displacement. As velocity is related to speed and direction, it can be changed by 1. Changing the speed and keeping direction same. 2. Changing direction and keeping speed constant. 3. Changing both speed as well as direction of motion. Uniform and non-uniform motion along a straight line. The motion in which the object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time is uniform motion. The motion in which object covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time is non-uniform motion. Example, motion of vehicles on a crowded streets. Acceleration. The rate of change of velocity is called acceleration. Acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time. If u is the initial velocity, v is the final velocity in time t, then a is equal to v minus u upon t. This kind of motion is accelerated motion. When body is at rest, at the start of motion, initial velocity u is equal to zero. When body comes to rest at the end of motion, then final velocity v is equal to zero. Most bodies possess two types of accelerations. One, if there are equal changes in velocity of body in equal intervals of time, then it possesses uniform acceleration. Two, if there are unequal changes in equal intervals of time, then it possesses non-uniform acceleration. When velocity of a body increases, acceleration is positive. Here, acceleration is in the direction of velocity. When velocity of a body decreases, acceleration is negative. 
Negative acceleration is also called deceleration or retardation. It is opposite to direction of velocity.